Good evening. It's my third blog now. I'm a chat with MS. Well, I'm a cabbage with MS. That's what MS has done to me. Got a bit of excitement anyway today. Anyway, gets up this morning, goes out the door, 12 o'clock. But I get pushed out, but we go out the door at 12 o'clock, do a bit of shopping today. And um, these cars everywhere. Thinking, Christ, anyway, they're in that, they're in the place next door. And I, I said to one of the covers, so was that my mate? Well, they would tell you a lot anyway. But I said to him, and I said, is it a terrorist group? He wouldn't, he wouldn't call me, just smiled. So anyway, we carried on getting in the car. Went out for about two hours, I suppose, come back. They're still there. Christ, I thought, they're still there. No. These are four, there must have been four cop cars still there. Anyway, goes on FB tonight, you know, Facebook, looking at it. Comes up spotted in Crawley. Young couple arrested for armed robbery. Apparently they've done about four, four armed rob armed places. He's what, 29, I think he's about 31, 32. Quite a nice couple, spoke to him a few times. I did notice he added wheel clamp, his car clamp, about a month ago for a non payment of tax or tax or unroadworthy, but it was unlocked pretty quickish. So, yeah, must have had money to do that. We know where he got the money from now. Even out robbing shops with a shotgun. Well, they're looking at, they've got to be looking at 15 years, a pair of them. I don't know, don't know what they're thinking of. I honestly thought they was going to get away with it. Well, they got 15 years now to think about it, I would imagine in Clink, in, in with the ISIS lot. Probably getting converted in the next 15 years. So, yeah, arm robbery. Anyway, my MS day, same as usual. Never or because I'll always be like a cabbage now. When I first got diagnosed, I only had secondary, I didn't have secondary, I had, I, all I got was relapsing MS. Just one day woke up blind, that was all. Now I'm like a fucking cabbage 15 years later. But I, that was the excitement day, walking out into, well, I don't fucking walk, so I got pushed out into that day. But yeah, yeah, incredible, really. Can't believe I was living next door to Arm Robber. An Arm Robbery couple. But it was Bonnie and Clyde, I think, for a little while. He had a little kid as well, about six. But he did seem quite a pleasant couple. You just never know, do you? You just never know what you're living next to. And that's what I've been living next to for the last three years. Since we got into this place. Yep. But like I said, it's, they're banged up now. They won't get bell or nothing. They won't be back. How to be put on the market now? Oh, well. One way of paying your mortgage, isn't it, I suppose? When you ain't got it. But as a MS goes, like I said, I mean, I'm still the same. And that's all I've really got to say today. But yeah, I've had quite, a, quite an exciting day. I don't think I'll get another exciting day like that. Or a little bit of speculation day when you're trying to figure out what the hell's gone on in the last 24 hours. Because it apparently started last night at 10 o'clock. But we didn't know nothing about it, nothing at all. Not until we actually got went out this morning at 12 o'clock. And they were still there. But reading on that FB Facebook, apparently they, they caught them off the road with arm coppers and everything. We never knew a thing. I'm living next door. You knocked me door to coppers tell me what was going on or it's safe and everything else. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But hey ho. I hope they... I just... Well, I don't know. But go on, thinking about it, you know, I, I, like I said to my wife today you know, you know it's just like no when no done that but he done it in a bigger way he done as a kid i used to know i know him all my life actually and uh i didn't know he was doing it but apparently he was he was in it big time and but he was doing post offices in auction houses he bought a fucking mansion no did we always wonder where he got his fucking money from to buy the fucking places he used to buy but apparently that's what he was doing robbing post offices over about 10 years 
He, he got he got like eighteen years, I think. Not all did. Like six years ago, I think he, he got he got caught, but he was doing it for about ten years robbing places. Anyway, the house he bought once once he bought this great big mansion. And when he actually got arrested, the police took everything. Apparently, they was going to take the house, and well, they do take everything. He asked someone to burn it down so they couldn't get it. <laughs> no, did, but he's still locked up anyway. But yeah, we was living uh, living next to armed robbers. There's quite a few armed robbers about in my life. I've, there's two lots I've come across now in the last twenty years. Oh well, quite exciting at times. Anyway, I'm saying good night now. I might blog again in a couple of days' time, let you know if I hear anything about this arm robbers that used to live next door to us. Night night.